Linda Amon, Amon Arts, welcome to my world. Today we are going to clean erasers. Why on earth would we want to clean erasers? Well, there's a number of reasons. One of my main reasons is when they get really bad, and especially if somebody or myself has erased something like a color pencil or charcoal or something, and then you go to erase your pristine, perfect paper, you've ruined your painting. So there's a couple things I want to talk about. The Statler Mars Plastic Grand, in, they come in different sizes, are the ones that are my, some of my favorites. They just really work well. And then this is called a kneaded eraser, K-N-E-A-D-E-D, -E -E, a kneaded eraser. And they start looking like this. So I'm just going to show you, there's other things you can use, but most of you have something like Goof Off or Goo Gone or something like that in your house. Um, there's a Citrosol uh, that also works. If you have a nail polish that has the acetate in it, it can't be non-acetone because you want to have the um, ability to um, eat down the eraser with what's on top of it. So it needs to have that. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the kneaded eraser because I think it's quite the mystery. And that is when you are doing these and they get dirty, all you do and they don't, if they're really hard and old, you need to just buy a new one. They're a couple bucks. But what I think is interesting is as you knead it, you actually get it clean. And I still can't figure out how that works because it doesn't end up on my fingers. It, I don't know how, how it works. If somebody knows that, you can email me and tell me. But basically, as you knead it and continue, it revives it to um, a good eraser again. And I'm going to show you the reasons I have two different kinds of erasers. So that's one. And of course, as these get smaller, you're kneaded, your Statler Mars, uh, they seem to get quite dirty. So a couple things I'm going to let you know. You're best to use gloves because this is a solvent. So just know that if you've got some solvents in your house, you could test them and see if they work for you. So I'm going to put gloves on because I think that's safer to do. You really don't want these solvents on your hands. And the idea is to use a paper towel. And I'm going to do the Goo Gone first, or like I said, it, there's a number of different brands, but it just has to be something that kind of eats the eraser away. And I'm going to put some on a paper towel. It's going to be a little stinky, so put the lid back on at least until you need it again. And then I'm going to just pull this cover off of this one. You can see how clean it used to be, and you can see how dirty it's gotten. The idea is that you go one direction. If you go back and forth, you actually get the dirt back on. But as you go one direction, what it is is it's eating off, because of the solvent, it is eating off the top of the eraser, which of course is where all the dirt's at, all the stuff you want to get rid of. And you can actually get these quite clean. One of the reasons I don't like the Citrusol and the Goo Gone and some of those as much is because it leaves more of a oily surface and then I need to go back and wash these with some soap and water and dry them. But you can see it really cleaned it up. But if that's the tool, if that's what you have, it works great. So you can see this one's really quite old and you can see how it's starting to get it clean also. What I prefer, I'm going to do that off, I need to remember to wash that with some soap and water. I prefer the fingernail polish remover because it evaporates faster. I think it works a little better on most of them. And what it does is, we'll take this one off here if I can. What it does is it doesn't leave the film afterwards. See how fast that worked? It works so much quicker. Again, go one direction. Don't go back and forth. You just put it back on and off and on and off. So go one direction. This was really bad on this end, so I'm going to get a new little spot here. And because it evaporates, sometimes you have to reapply some of the um, solvent, which this time is the nail polish. But it really cleans these up. And this one doesn't seem to leave residue for me like some of the other solvents do. Let's go to this really, really old one. I'm going to press down on the table here. You won't see it as well, but I'm going to do half of it. And you can see, even though this one, I know this one is years and years older because it's been in my little kit and been everywhere. But you can see this half is much cleaner than that half. 
So when I do the rest of it, it would not put anything on my watercolor. Now we need to get some more on here. It wouldn't put anything on my watercolor painting of the residue of that dirt once I get this clean. There, now it's really getting clean because I applied more of the more of this stuff. Okay, so that's how easy it is to clean your erasers. Um, I'm just gonna, this one, I'm just gonna get off the edge. I wanna show you also that if you want to take off the symbol, you know, the writing, for whatever reason, you can actually do it the same way. Because remember, this is eating off the top of the eraser. So you can see, I can actually take off the words if I cared to. And sometimes, you'll see in future videos maybe where I'm actually using these to carve some stamps, and I might want that off. I'm not gonna take it all off so I have some more example another time because that would help me. And then this is something that could be flammable. So I always take it all the way outside to the garbage and make sure that it's not gonna be someplace where there could be any chance of a, of a fire or anything. Now the reason that we did these, that's the one I don't wanna touch because it's got the um, oil a little bit, but this one has evaporated just fine with the, with the um, paper itself. Okay, with the stuff. So this is an old lesson here, but if I go to erase that line, even after it has been um, watercolor over, you can get off quite a lot of it, because we've talked about watercolor sets in the line. You can get off quite a lot of it with your Statler Mars. It will also take some of the color, and that is why you need to clean your eraser once in a while. The kneaded is not going to be as strong. So if you have some lines down, you can erase it, but it won't take it out as much. I use it more as a way to lighten a line without disturbing it. So I kind of like vacuum it very light. So I can, before I start painting, I can use the kneaded eraser to just come across and lighten the line, and then I could erase it more, but you can see it's just not as heavy duty. Watch this. This will take out much more, and you can be a little more aggressive with it, so that line is gone. So this was from another lesson, but it gave you some ideas of how you do the erasing. So for me, cleaning erasers is actually something I do quite often and I think it's very important to the finish of your artwork to not have some of those smudges of you might have gotten in some charcoal when you were doing mixed media or something like that and you can actually know that you're not going to damage your original artwork. So um, put in the comments that you like this. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and thank you for joining me.